everybody. Welcome to today's Elevate Tube Hotel Tour. Let's take a look at the trusty Time Experiment in 2019 using me in the glow. Today's hotel tour is going to be of the Best Western Plus in Troy, New York. As you see, this is just your simple T-shaped hotel with only three floors. And yeah, some of the um, and yes, yeah, since since this is an older hotel, some of the parts you will see in this hotel are from are from the 1980s. Well, the other parts have been recently renovated, so you'll see a, a combined mix of uh, of um, of decades um, from the past and and now. So, so T.J. Elder fan, I know you like to um, I know you like to do my hotel tours. So, like all the other ones, this hotel tour is dedicated to you. So, with that being said. Guess what time is everybody? That's right, it's hotel tour time. There's these Lucy. And before we start the hotel, here's what it looks like from the back of the hotel. As you can see, this is the rear of the hotel where where the balcony sticks out. And this garage right here, the four-story garage, is not part of this hotel, so we will not include it in our hotel tour. But without, uh, but I, I think we should um, start walking and exploring. Over here is the front of the hotel, but we'll get to that after we finish looking around the, the exterior. So on the rear of this hotel, this is where the, the balconies occur at the very back. That's only located on the second and third floors. While on the first, on, while on the first floor, you can see that they have a fitness center. But we'll get a look at that later. Here's one of the entrances to the hotel. Actually, you know that that's um, that's not it. It only goes out that way. But you can drive up to the to the motel from this ramp. Here you can get a better view of the exercise room from from the outside. You can see these two silhouettes are treadmills. And this over here is the other side, the other back part of this hotel. Here's the, here's the garbage display. This is where, this is where garbage trucks picks up all the trash from every hotel guest. And, I, and earlier, before I started the hotel tour, I looked around to make sure there was an outdoor pool, and I don't see one, so. Over here, you can see, you can see one of the hotel corridors, complete with an MPE, which is right behind those windows. Very interesting. Here's MPE number D. Oh, and it's wide open. I never expect to see that. Usually, um, when you go out this way, you can't come back in. Anyway, we're we're just um, we're pretty much in the front of the hotel now. Here's the motor lobby. And here's one of the shuttle bands taking you, taking you everywhere, place, taking you places. If you don't have a car, or you need to take public transportation.
Here's one of the handicapped parkings. And yes, they're wandering the, the front fields of this hotel. Here's the sign for Best Western Plus. It's a newer Best Western logo. I don't know when it, um, the logos have changed. I'm sure it'll, um, I'm sure uh, if you go to the Best Western History website, you'll know exactly when logos have been changed. But anyway, here is a better view of the front of the hotel. Again, very nice motor lobby. And no, I don't want to get my camera wet because it's not waterproof. And there's a host brain towards, towards me. But it's a good thing I'm far away. All right, and I think we've seen the whole outside, so let's head inside and, and we'll start exploring the hotel lobby. I don't see I don't see any cars coming by the way. And this door Oh, I see. I'm not going to demonstrate it um because I don't want to waste electricity. Anyway, this right here is the is the hotel lobby. I don't want to get a copyright claim from that TV. Look at that light fixture. It's very colorful. There's the front desk. And next to the front desk, they have an executive center with internet access. Over here, you have a sitting area with a fireplace. Oh, that's, that's actually not the executive center. Right behind this door is is, is the actual business center. See, they have a Dell computer and a brother printer. And you got some, and, and also in this business center, they have some vending machines. Here's a snack machine. Obviously, the prices are not listed, but you do have a pre, but you do have to press the selection for a price. And over here is your beverage machine. They got a mix of Coke and Pepsi products in there. Now we'll take a look at the breakfast area, which due to the time of day is closed. But since the light is on, we will... Here's one of the sinks. It's a good thing because, you know, it is important to wash your hands before you eat. This is where they serve yogurt. Some coffee. Some milk some beverages. I, this is the only beverage I drink. Oh, and also an Emerson microwave too. 7, uh, 700 watts. And obviously, um, Emerson, you need to clean your microwave. It's, I can see a lot of food scraps in there, which is currently not acceptable. Over here you have a Oster toaster. You can put either toast or bagels in it. And over here is the silverware dispenser and a waffle maker. See, they serve waffles in the morning. And actually there's not one, but two waffle makers. That's very interesting. And not one, but two microwaves too. This microwave is a Frigidaire. Manufactured September 2016. Let's see how many watts it is. Oh, a range of a thousand to a thousand five uh, five hundred fifty watts. That's very interesting. So that is the prefix room. TJ Albert fan, what do you think about this prefix area? I can't wait to see what what prefix they have the next morning. But at this point, we will get back to our tour. Again, again, I'm gonna talk over the.
Over here is the elevator, but we'll get to that here in, a, in just a minute. But at this point, we will take a look at the guest laundry room. Here's here's two of the luggage carts of this of this hotel. They're usually placed but in, in this entrance. Here's your public restroom, a drinking fountain, and an ATM. This lobby is absolutely beautiful. Over here is the elevator machine room. And the laundry room is, is over to your right as soon as you first came in this come in this corridor. Here's your ice machine. Apparently that does not belong in this laundry room. And surprisingly, it works. Over here you have whirlpool washers. And two Whirlpool commercial dryers, although this one is broken. So that's a partial fail. And as always, you have a place to fold your laundry after, after the clothes are finished drying. So that's a nice touch. So that is that. Now I did ask, um, now in this video I did ask a Best Western employee, uh, the manager, the front desk manager, to, to see if they have a, a pool, and there isn't, so Best Western, you really need to expand this hotel and, and put a pool there. That way if you're bored, you can go out and swim. Now we'll go take a look at the fitness center. TJ Oliver fan, I know you like to exercise, so. Back down this way, it's there's just nothing but an employee laundry room. Here's one of the MPEs. This one does not have roof access, as you can see. Here's one of the emergency exits. Actually, two of them. One right here. And, and and that's actually and, and this exit is not for emergency only. It's it's a side entrance. Whenever you have when you whenever you park there and you need to get find a shortcut to get to to your room. Now the fitness center is down at the end of the hall, to your right. Another emergency exit. Here is the exercise room. And if I can find my room key. All right guys, I I did what um I did went down to the front desk manager where my mom is and I told um I told them what happened so they mis um they understood um and now I have another room key. Thanks uh thanks to them. So without further ado, let's enter the fitness room. Shall we? And if I can find the lights, let's see if the lights come on. Yeah, it does. It's motion activated lights. The door closes slowly. This right here is the exercise room. Got some towels there. Although some of them are are taken to the employee um, employee laundry room. You got some weightlifting equipment. I can only lift, lift up to 10 pounds. Oh, another with weightlifting equipment too. And a water dispenser. I don't know what that machine is. Over here you have a, a spirit treadmill. And two spirit, oh, that's actually a spirit elliptical. And you have two spirit treadmills. And two spirit exercise bikes. Although one is raised for, for normal use, well the other one is lowered for ADA compliance. That's very interesting. And I 
I think this is like a ski lift type machine. A Samsung flat screen TV for, ever, for, um, for entertainment while you're exercising. And like many other exercise rooms, you have a big mirror to watch your fat burn away. So that's a nice touch. So TJ, what do you think about this exercise room? It's very nice. It's a shame they don't have an indoor swimming pool. I guess I should have um, looked everywhere to um, find a, a hotel that has a pool in it, but that's the best I could do, so. Anyway, we've seen the whole low, uh, first floor, so. You know what it's time for now? That's right, it's time to go to look at the room. And this is the part where we do the super sprints. So without further ado, here we go. Here we are. Here's the Alvair. And again, it's an older Otis Series 1 from the 1980s, and it was installed like 1986, so. Number has already changed. And you know what? Let's listen to it going up and down. Wait till the door's closed. And there you go, that's, that's listening to the machine it, while the elevator is ascending. Now we're going to listen to a descent. And here it is. Now I get to see, now I get to hear them. So there you have it. That is the machine room from the outside. And when the Otis wants to close, the Otis will close. And yes, this, um, I did get a separate elevator video here, so you'll see that in the, um, the link should be these. The link of the official elevator video is in, this, in the descriptions below. So let's go up to three and we'll do the room tour. Um, I tried to um, get a view of the number change and the button go out at the same time, but this is the best I could do. Let's see what kind of phone this has. Oh, I see. We'll get a better look at the fixtures while we're there. I noticed that this phone box is hard to open sometimes, but it's easy to open, so. Oh, there we go. Got. It's the same old 88 phone. And just for the heck of it, there it goes and, and yes, like all the other floors, the outside doors are painted brown. Here's a better view of this, um, of the main MPE. Obviously, that's staircase A. Here's a, a view. Here's a view of the emergency exit down the first floor. And you can get a better view of the parking lots. One of the parking lots from the from this level too. Let's go look at the back MPE. Here's one of the fire extinguishers. And 
fence right here. And this one does not have roof access. Let's go back here. Let's go downstairs to the second floor. I thought I saw some access that um, I, I had a feeling this um, that there's access to the balcony on this on this level. And actually, it isn't. He, um, only room two thirty six and three thirty six on the on the third floor have access to the outdoor balconies. Anyway, let's go back upstairs and get a view of the rest of the corridor. Q Air 3, it is hot in here. Nice and cool in here. But yeah, see what I mean? You can only access the the two balconies from either 236 and 336 right through this door. Which by the way, they're both ADA accessible rooms because you have a doorbell outside of it, you can ring it for for wheelchair use. That's interesting. All right, so let's go to the other MPE. Oh, and off this MPE, here's the second floor down there and the first floor. You can get a nice view of the parking garage, although it doesn't belong in this hotel. Obviously, this garage is city-owned, so apparently it is impossible to go there. But if, but if I did, and then I, I trespass, which is not allowed. Anyway, down at the end of this hall, over here, you have another ice machine and another beverage machine. Although it only has eight beverages in this. Oh, here is stairway C. Let's see if this one has roof access. Nope, it doesn't. But just for the heck of it, I'll show, um, I'll show you where the emergency exit is. It's the second floor. And if you go out the store, you lead to the first floor corridor. And once you go out the store, you have to use your room key to get back in. This is where we started earlier. So we have one more MPE to look at and I assume that MPE has roof access. I wish they put a ladder up there, that way they have another access to the roof. All right. Let's go look at Stairway D now. Again, using the Magic Fast Forward machine. Alright, and here we are at Stairway D, and for all your fire enthusiasts, here's your fire uh, simplex fire pole station, as well as a red exit sign. It usually places above the, on the ceiling, 
right above the door, but that's a very interesting place for it. And no, this hotel does not have roof. And nope. God, I God, I wanted to um, show you what the roof looks like, but that's okay. So yeah, there is no way how you can get up to the roof. Down here is um, is one more of the emergency exits. This is just like just like all the other MPEs at the end of the hallways, except stairway C is reversed. The other ones are. <laughs> Barry, uh, stairs B and D are identical, judging by the way it looks. All right, now TJ Elder fam, this is your favorite part because we are now going to our hotel room. This man who was trying to get in the store, I, at first I thought I um, wasn't supposed to get him on camera, but that was a close call. Anyway, let's go ahead and tour, uh, go on a room tour now. There we go. And I'm in room 319. And normally I like to mess around these, um, when I do my room tours, I, I usually like to um, do them before I mess around with them. But but due to a limit of time, this is the only uh, this is the only time I can do my room tour. So without further ado, let's head inside and start exploring. Got the newer magnetic locks. Obviously, this um, this has been renovated in the recently. And here's what the room looks like during a mid-stay. As you can tell, interior corridors. Door's very slow. Let's go ahead and start out with our security features. Got your deadbolt and a latch lock, a newer latch lock. I guess that's a. I guess these have been replaced recently. And you have a peephole as well. And you got an emergency evacuation plan. See where this hotel is almost shaped like a T, but it's slanted just a little. And over here you have the elevators in the middle, and the stairs at the end. Now put my back against the door. And you got two, I think these are double beds. Beds are very comfortable. Pillows are nice. Oh, you got some, this does not have a top sheet, but you do have a down comforter and duvet cover, as well as a bottom sheet. That way everything can be washed. Let's look under the mattress. Well, I don't see anything. So this bed passes. Let's take a look at the other bed. This is the bed I slept in. Yeah, like I said, I, I normally like to do my room tours but before I mess things around. And guess what? Both beds pass too. So that's a good deal. That's a very in in interesting lamp. Over here you have a Kobe blue alarm clock. As you can see, it's 8.38 in the morning. And your hotel telephone. And looks like the good book is missing. I, I guess it should go in there.
now over here you have a workstation and I, I totally forgot my um, my CVS pharmacy lock so but that's okay This here's um one of my two um, here's one of my devices here. Over here you have an ice bucket, and oh, don't want to lose this. Over here you have they got some hospitality Wi-Fi as you can see. Very interesting. And look in the mirror. Who do you see? Hi y'all. Over here you have a lampshade, bud. This switch does nothing. I guess this bulb has has burned out, so they should replace this bulb. Over here you have a single cup coffee maker made by Mr. Coffee. And over here you have some gourmet roast coffee. And over here you have... Oh, in, in there is the remote controller which goes over to this Samsung CRT flat screen TV and some of your suggests you want to see the TV in action so there you go but for copyright reasons we're going to turn it back off Samsung but let's go ahead and cut it off now this um, this channel guide is uh, made by direct TV by the way And you have to hold it down for it to turn off. All right, over here in this um, in this drawer, you have a smart fridge, refrigerator. See, it's a mini fridge, but with no freezer. And there's no microwave in this hotel room. Apparently, they should put a bigger mini fridge and a microwave on top. That way, if you wanna, if you have if you brought food in it that has been hasn't been cooked yet, there's gotta be a way to cook it. Now over here you have a chest of drawers, all of which are clean. And over here, I guess this um this uh, usually as you first enter this in, into this hotel you. You usually have a closet right next to the door, but instead you have it right next to the window. Got an iron ironing board and hangers, plus a luggage rack too. So you got plenty of stores in this closet. Now we're here. It's nothing really exciting. It's just a simple Amana climate control unit with a digital thermostat. And over here you have a be out the window during the day. Over here you have some transport buses. Some construction site going there. I don't know which leg that is, but here's another view of the corridor from the outside. And you also have another lamp. If I can... Yeah, it works. And this is a view of the room from the side. It's very spacious. And you got some nice artwork as well. In black and white. Now for your toilet fence, this is your favorite part because we're going to tour the bathroom. And you got plenty of lighting around the mirror for, sh for some shaving. And unfortunately you have to bring your own hair dryer because there isn't one in this bathroom. I looked around for it. You gotta see here. What, I don't know what kind of sink that is. It's uh, hmm. yeah. The sink doesn't have any brand, but that's all right. 
at least the plumbing fixtures do seem to work very well. Here's your towel rack with a tissue box. And right below it, you have a modern Kohler commode. And let me look in the tank to see if it's... Nope, it's not pressure resistant. And here we go, let's see what flush this has. Ready, toil fence? Very typical for a Kohler. Alright, and lastly, this right here, you have a shower bathtub combo. And this right here is, by the way, is a bath mat. You got plenty of towels there. And on this towel rack, which apparently these two go uh, belong on top, you got a shower arch curtain. You can see it's very worn, but no stains on it. But there's still some water on the around the tile. That's because I've recently taken a shower last night. Very wide bathtub, shaped like an oval. And around this and this corner right here you have a, a soap dish. Let's see what kind of plumbing fixtures these have. I believe these are Delta, but I'm not sure yet. And like I, um, and, and then when I was taking a shower, I was control, I controlled um, the different sprinkles of the shower head. So that's very nice. Let's go ahead and test the pressure out just for a heck of it. I'm gonna turn it this way so I don't get sprayed. Wow, very nice. Let's go ahead and turn it off now. All right, almost got my watch. Let me go ahead and drive off my hands really quick. All right, so let's go ahead and take one more look around the room. So, TJ, what do you think about this hotel? Hotel room. Isn't this nice? But yeah, the only complaint is um, you have to bring your own hair dryer. And they need to change the light bulb gear. Those are the two, uh, those are, those are the, are the two cons in this hotel room. Plus, they need to um, expand the, the hotel and add a, and add an indoor pool there. Complete with a hot tub, so that way, if you're bored, you you can swim. So, but other than these, I'd say this is a very nice hotel. And if you're ever in Troy, Michigan, I, I think there's a lot of places you can you can stay here. But um, if but if you if you're really looking for a hotel with a swimming pool, you might as well look elsewhere. Anyway, I guess that concludes the hotel tour. Thank you so much as always for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I guess all to say now is, that's it. Bye, y'all.
the video is over. But it doesn't have to be. You can always watch more and you know what to do. <laughs> Click the buttons. And don't forget to subscribe and like that bell. Until, Until next time, time. bye y'all.